Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. I'm going to start a live video. Let me just get you, um, what is this? What platform is this? This has to be, um, Instagram. Let me get Instagram straight. Okay, let's get Instagram straight. Hold on. Hey, Instagram. How are you doing? Oh, ah, ah. I'm trying to pin the comment. Woo. Okay, I got it. All right. Pin Instagram. Pin. All right, what up, peeps? Oh, hey, everybody. All right. Okay. Everybody's here. Oh my gosh, so I'm live on Instagram, Periscope, Facebook, my fan page, Facebook, my regular page, um, YouTube, and I guess that covers all of it. So, we're going to do a few things today, um, so get ready, we're continuing our um, Thanksgiving series, so if you've not been following us we're doing like all thanksgiving -y type food. So a couple things, um, all the recipes you can grab one of two ways. We've been emailing recipes to you guys. Have you guys been getting our emails? Okay. So to get the email, you go to um, DariusCooks.tv and sign up for the mailing list. And then we'll give you the emails. We'll give you the recipes that way. And then also... Uh, also, you can grab them by going to the Darius Cooks Facebook group on Facebook. So, one of two ways you can grab the recipes. Um, so, I stopped at the grocery store. These are all my bags. So, I'll show you what I have. Um, and then we'll get started cooking. I figured you guys would want to see this, right? So, I'm probably going to fry this fish tonight because I was like, what can I eat for myself? So, I got a catfish filet. So, we're probably going to take care of that in a little minute, okay? I got hungry, so I, I do snack on these in the grocery store. These are, um, these good things. I like the uh, salt and vinegar and the cheddar, the white cheddar ones, oh, they're so good, okay? Also, snack alert, okay? Cookie Thins by Keebler, the lemon cookie Thins. Thank me later, okay? Thank me later on that one. And then, I mean, they have fudge stripes. I mean, can we, can we, I mean, <laughs> never go to the grocery store hungry. Okay? Never go to the, and I just left the gym. I feel so bad. Not. Okay? Ain't no wrong with a little snack. The Bible speaks of snacks. When the Lord created me, what did he create? A snack. Huh? Come on, somebody. So I got a little snap. <laughs> I'll put these to the side. These are for later. Okay. Now. Couple more of the room. We're gonna do an apple pie today. So I've got some apples. We're gonna do apple pie because I need to get this pie cooked. So I got apples for us for later on, okay? So take notes. All right. American cheese product. Pasteurized American cheese product. You know what it's called. Belvita. Cavatappi pasta. You could use regular elbows, but why? Cavatappi has more ridges and grooves, so the sauce soaks up in there. I need some more oil if I was going to fry anything. So I've got some oil. Okay. I'm like, damn, where's the cheese? Half and half. Okay, half and half is important in this process. 
I picked up some eggs. Not for the macaroni and cheese. Eggs do not go in macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna do an egg wash on top of um, our pie. So that's why I have that, okay? Now, sour cream, any kind. I'm using light sour cream because I'm going for a mouthfeel, not an actual texture. So sour cream is important. Colby and Jack cheese mixed together. Traditional cheddar. Gruyere. Smoked Gouda. Oh, look at me. I bought two Gruyeres. Okay. Smoked Gruyere. I didn't even know I bought it. And Fontina cheese. Okay. The cheeses really don't matter as much as the process and the seasonings and all that stuff. That's what's really, 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 really important here, okay? So that's what I want you to focus on. All right, so let me get a box grater and let's go to town because we need to, we need to get, get started on this. Um, uh, uh, behind me, you guys can't see. Let me see, can you see my stove? Let's see. So behind me, on the stove, okay, I've got a pot of water boiling, okay? I figured, let me do that now. So it'll be a good idea to cook our pasta off first. Now, I always have two golden rules when it comes to making pasta, okay? What do you want to do? You want to over salt the water and you want to undercook the pasta, that part. I'm just taking a photo of you guys because you have to see this. I literally have five devices and I want people to see how serious this is, okay? Y'all smile, everybody smile, okay? Everybody smile. Should I use the flash? Let's see the flash. Gotcha. All right, everybody smile. Okay, you guys look amazing. You got, you look amazing. Okay, so here's what we're doing. In here, I'm gonna add some salt, all right? Again, I like to oversalt. I want it to taste like the ocean, taste like the sea. This is really one of the only times you're gonna get an opportunity to season your pasta. So go ahead and season it up now really nicely, okay? What I put in here was salt, and this is cavatappi. So if you've never seen, first of all, Google it. Uh-oh, hold on, I'm wasting something. Google it. It's got little little ridges and grooves in the pasta. So it's like elbow, but with the volume turned up, okay? So if you can find cavatappi, obviously, uh, I want you to use that. Because they'll be like, what you doing? I'm making macaroni and cheese with cavatappi. That point, okay? So I'm gonna put the copper top of a pound in here in the water, okay? Now, get you a spoon ready because you know what happens is that it'll like clump up on you, you know? So we're gonna give it a little stir as it cooks, okay? Let's get our um, strainer ready, that way when it's time to drain, we're not fooling around, okay? You wanna get your strainer ready. And we're gonna cook this, what we call al dente, which means what? To the tooth. That means that we're not cooking it all the way through. Okay, so step number one, please do not cook your stuff all the way through because the problem is when you do that, you cook it all the way through now, then you gotta put it in the oven, you're gonna cook it all the way through some more, it's gonna be cooked too much, okay? And that's gonna be a problem for us. So we don't want that to happen, all right? Okay, now, again, the collection of choose cheeses, of cheeses, of cheeses that you use is not that important, people, okay? Please understand, it's important, but it's not that important. Just use a good mix of something cheddar-y, 
something creamy, something nutty, something smoky. Okay? That's it. And you don't have to go and get, find whatever's on sale. If the, if the good stuff ain't on sale, use the other stuff, people. Okay? Use what's on sale. That's all I want you to do. So this is some Gouda. Just regular, not smoked. No, I'm lying. This is the smoked Gouda. I can smell it. So this is the smoked Gouda. And what I'm going to do is, as I'm, I'm going to grate the cheese. Oh, this has a rind on it. Take the rind off. Uh-oh. Take the rind off, people. I ain't never had nothing. Ain't used to having nothing. Jesus. Take the rind off. There we go. Okay. If you get a little rind in here, it's okay. You've had worse. That part. Some of you had something last night you shouldn't have no business eating. Okay? Laid up next to something. Right now. Watching me. Okay? So a little rind ain't gonna kill you, doc. Okay? What you got just my... I'm so glad his grace is sufficient. My God, today, thank you, Jesus, for grace. Huh? Where would you be had it not been that part, okay? All right, we're going to say... <laughs> we're going to take... We, woo, okay, we're going to take this cheese and put that in there. So that's our first cheese, which is some smoked Gouda, okay? Let's check this pasta, because it's boiling. And I don't want this to overcook, okay? I would rather this be undercooked real good, okay? We ain't ready that yet. It's still it's got a little crunch to it. Okay, smoked Gouda. Nutty Gruyere, let's put some Gruyere in here, okay? Y'all don't mind me. I just had a really great day. I'm getting ready to open up an amazing restaurant called Soul Crab, uh, December 1st. We're opening up in College Park, Georgia. And I'm just having a good day. I went to the gym, my endorphins are up. You know, I'm making macaroni and cheese. You know, so I'm just having a really, really good day. And uh, you haters can't stop me. Cause I'm all the way up. Okay, this is Gruyere, okay. It was so good. It's like nutty and delicious. So listen, if you want the recipes for this macaroni and cheese, I will definitely give them to you. We will email you if you join our mailing list at DariusCooks.tv. So many of you guys have joined. So go to DariusCooks.tv and you can join the mailing list. Or what you can do is um, join the Darius Cooks Facebook group. Okay, have you guys gotten our emails yet? Are you guys getting your flaky butter crust emails and whatnot? Come on. Okay, so we're sending out emails to help you. So these are all like free recipes. And by the way, we also have the holiday cookbook, 101 recipes for your holiday table. Okay, 101 recipes. I just per posted the first picture today. It was a Nacho Mama's green bean casserole because it's topped with Nacho Doritos and crispy um, French fried onions. You get it? Nacho Doritos, Nacho, Nacho Mama. You get it? Amazing. Okay, I know. But I'm bump. <laughs> okay, so you can get that book. You can download it. It's got the shopping lists. And all the recipes, and it's available for immediate download by going to DariusCooks.tv slash store. And if you want, okay, let me ask you a question. Do you want to save 30% on the book? If you want to save 30% on the book, type in a number one. Let me see who wants to save 30%. On the book. Let me see. This is my, this is my, I'm looking face. Okay, you guys are in luck. Simply because I love you. 
There's no other reason I'm doing this but the fact that I love you. You can type in the discount code. Are you ready for this? This is your 30% discount code. Thanksgiving 2018, okay? So if you go to DariusCooks.tv and DariusCooks.tv slash store and you get the either the original cookbook, stories from our grandmother's kitchen, or you grab a copy of 101 Recipes for your holiday table, you can do that right now and uh, you can save a little bit of money, okay? 30% you can save, all right? I'm gonna drain this out because this is cooked all the way now. All right, you can save. See, this is cooked, okay? I, I, I would, it's kinda hot, but that's hot, okay? I wanna show you, but I don't wanna kill myself in the process. It's really hot, okay? But see, look, the pasta is cooked to al dente. It's not cooked all the way through where, you know, you like, you done killed it. This still got a little, it's got a little, little situation going on, okay? I'm not going to add no oil because I'm going to use it in one second. But I was going to show you that the pasta looks really good and amazing, okay? Anyway, you can go to DariusCooks.tv slash store. Uh, somebody, can you guys type the um, discount code in the comment section? The discount code is Thanksgiving2018. And if you go and um, at checkout, you put Thanksgiving2018 in the in the code, in the box, or you could say 30%. All, right. All one word, Thanksgiving2018. Okay? My gift to you. So that was Gruyere, and now we've got Fontina, okay? We got some Fontina cheese, which is so good. It's creamy, it melts nicely, it's good, good stuff. So we got smoked um, Gouda, regular Gouda, we've got some Gruyere, and we've got Fontina so far, okay? That's what we got. So I'm just shredding these, because these fancy cheeses don't come shredded. You know, you gotta do this yourself. So get you a good box um, shredder, and you go to town, you see, and then you just snack on the rest, because that's what happens when you cook for yourself. Okay? All right, look. So this is really about a cup and a half, a cup and a half to two cups each of these cheeses. It's no such thing as the cheese police. You guys always ask me, well, Darius, how much cheese should I put in here? It don't matter. You just keep pouring until your ancestors say, well done. Okay? If the ancestors ain't say, well done, stop. Don't keep going. We ain't got to work out. Okay? That's simple. Now, these are these cheeses. Let's throw in here some of this Colby and Jack. So that's already four cheeses, right? This is five and six. Right? And then we've got some mild cheddar, which makes it seven. Okay? So we've got seven. The amount of cheese, the, the collection of cheeses really ain't that important, y'all. It ain't the cheese that makes this. It's this sauce that we finna make. This is what makes it. So I'm just mixing the cheese. I'm gonna just take a bath in this. That's it. I'm gonna take a bath right in here. Okay, so you can see the cheeses that we have mixed up, right? Simple stuff, right? Now, I don't care what y'all say. Macaroni and cheese is not macaroni and cheese without a little Velveeta. Okay, I'm sorry, people. It's got to have a little Velveeta in here. So they sell these little mini blocks, so you don't have to buy like the whole big old, big old, big old, big old block no more. You can buy the little bitty blocks like this. So I'm just going to dice up some Velveeta into, into big dices because it will melt into the macaroni and cheese 
and make the sauce super creamy, okay? Listen, if you want mozzarella sticks, go get you some. They, mozzarella was not on sale at Publix, that part. You see what I'm saying? I just left Publix, the one in Camp Creek, and mozzarella was not on sale. You know what was on sale, sis? Monterey Jack and mild cheddar. So guess what we have in our macaroni and cheese? This is the what's on sale macaroni and cheese, okay? I don't want you to go out here um, breaking the bank now for this macaroni. It ain't that serious. You give us on sale. You're not going to taste this and be like, it's missing mozzarella. You ain't going to do that. You see what I'm saying? They ain't even going to know. Matter of fact, some people ain't even worthy of mozzarella, sis. They done sent you the voicemail. They done ignored your phone calls in the time when you needed them the most. You really think you ought to go out here and get mozzarella? And they done treat it you the way they done treat it you. They're gonna give us on sale and they're gonna love it. And that's gonna be it. You see what I'm saying? That's it. They finna get what's on sale and then you're gonna love it. And get out my face playing with me. Okay, let me throw this away. And let me get a little wet towel. Okay, y'all doing too much. You're doing too much. Okay, so we got our cheeses. Now. Let's get this sauce made, that part. Okay, let's get this sauce made. Now I'm using half and half for this sauce. Okay, I'm gonna use some half and half for this sauce. And if for some reason you can't find half and half, you're not looking hard enough, okay? I'm using half and half, and if for some reason you cannot find half and half, I you're not looking hard enough, because they got half and half at every grocery store in America, okay? They got the regular half and half, and they got the fat-free half and half. You can get whichever one you want, because we're going to put enough butter in here to, to put the fat back in it, okay? You can get fat-free if you want to. We got enough cheese and enough butter to add back the fat that they didn't give us for free in here. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I don't even know why you buying the fat-free half and half, okay? The fat-free half and half costs the same amount as the regular half and half. You don't get a discount for buying the fat-free half and half. Why would you buy the fat? You might as well buy the full fat, doc. You ain't saving no money. You see what I'm saying? And we're gonna put enough fat in here to do some good damage. So I don't really even understand. Okay, now that's a stick of butter in here. Normally I put a little more than a stick, but we're gonna do a stick of butter. Now this is a good, can y'all see my pot? Periscope. Okay, this is a good um, Dutch oven. You need you a good piece of equipment for this. Please don't do this in no flimsy pot. This is macaroni and cheese, and you gotta treat the macaroni and cheese like it's worthy of, of being treated. You don't don't come in here with no little flimsy pot talking about some. We finna make macaroni and cheese. Ain't no God in that, you see. Ain't no God in that. Okay, when the butter melt down, we'll get you some flour, okay? Get you some flour. Okay, you're gonna put your little flour in here. Couple tablespoons of flour, okay? All right, that's called, what we doing? A roux. Not a R-U-E, because some of y'all be spelling it wrong. It's R-O-U-X, a roux, okay? And I'm just stirring in the flour and uh, the butter, because I want to cook out that sort of like raw flour taste. Now we're going for what's called a blonde roux, okay? A blonde roux. And a blonde roux means, you know what blonde is. Some of y'all got 27 pieces, they blonde. So you know what blonde is already. When you apply what you already know to food, you already there, okay? Some of y'all got the platinum blonde and all that. We're just gonna do a little blonde roux, which means we don't wanna take it too far and get it too dark, okay? We don't want to do it too far, we don't want to get too dark, okay? It's a light skin, a light skin root, what you need, okay? You need a light skin root. 
and you take your four fat half and half. It don't take long. When you got this good Dutch oven like this here, this Dutch oven got good heat to it, okay? This Dutch oven gonna get you where you got to go real fast. You ain't got to really worry about too much with this here, okay? Now we're gonna pour in our half and half, okay? All right, and you really got to stir this, people, okay? You might have to stir this up a little bit because what's going to happen is I put the whole thing in there. I didn't say this was that. Listen, I am your cook, not your doctor, okay? If you know you got our problems, don't eat this. If you got one foot in the grave, please don't eat this. I'll be seeing some of y'all. Y'all got COPD, ABC, DEFG, HIJK, P. Don't eat this, Okay? If you know you don't go to the gym or something, you know you don't work out, do, don't eat this. Eat a little bit. Eat you a little bit, okay? Don't eat a whole lot of this, all right? Now, listen, again, don't worry if you uh, don't have the recipe tonight. I am going to email you guys um, the recipe. You know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for a um, container to put it in. I don't even have a... Um, a container. Oh, here goes something down here. Look at God. Uh oh. Let me risk this out. Hold on. I was getting my casserole dish together. Okay, this is my casserole. Okay, my oven is already preheated 400 degrees on convection. Okay, now we gotta season this sauce. This sauce ain't got no seasoning. Hello? This prop this this be part of the problem. Your food don't come out right because you don't season your food. Okay, we're gonna put some kosher salt down here. And I've ran out of kosher salt just now. Let me refill my little container. Okay. I, now listen, I, I get the big box of kosher salt. That way, and you can use pink Himalayan, you know, some of y'all are natural and stuff. And you use black soap to wash up and all that. And you make natural deodorant. Very India Ari like, you know. I'm not the average girl from the radio. My wealth is not determined by the price of my clothes. No matter what I wear, I will always be the India Ari. Listen, if that's you, use whatever salt you like to use. But just make sure you season your food, people, okay? We're gonna throw in some black pepper. And I'm just stirring this up because by the time this comes to a boil, this is going to thicken and it's going to be too late to stir at that point. Okay? So, so far, we added salt and pepper. Let me hip you to the game, Doc. This way it get good. Okay? This is where it get good. Okay? You need you a little garlic powder in here. Okay, you need your little tank of garlic powder. You need your little tank. This is from Sam's Club. A little tank of onion powder in here. Okay, do not go overboard. Just put you a little piece in here. That's it. Okay, put you a little piece and sit down. Okay, we're gonna get it a stir. Okay, it's already starting to thicken up on us. So I'm gonna cut the heat down some because I don't want this to scorch or burn because we're gonna be shamed. And I don't have no more half and half in my refrigerator. So this got to come out perfect because I don't have no more to go to. Okay? Now listen. What really makes this taste real good. Is a little bit of this. Okay? This is called smoked paprika. You step your whole game up. When you put you a little piece of smoked paprika down to the sauce. Now you know regular paprika tastes like air. Smoked paprika got the Holy Ghost, okay? Smoked paprika got the Holy Ghost. You just need you a little bit in there, okay? Okay, look, this is good. Cut this off. I'm going to burn this. Cut this off. And let me show you the sauce we got. This is before we add the cheese and everything. Let me show you what we got. I ain't add nothing in here. I didn't add no cheese in here yet. But let me show you the consistency of this sauce already, okay? Ooh. Ooh, look at this. See what I got? 
You see what I got right there? Look, I can't really tilt the pan to show you, but you see that? You see how thick that is? That's thick. That's thick. That's thick. Like them girls from the west side, Doc. Oh, no. Hold on. My, my, my thing just shut down on me. Oh. Sorry, Facebook. It's the devil. It's the devil. Sorry, I'm back. Cooking mac and cheese. Sorry, Facebook um, fan page. The devil is busy. That's because I didn't update to iOS 12. Your mama. I didn't update to iOS. Okay, so anyway, all right. We start this together real good. Okay, see that? Now, let's add in this sour cream. Okay, we're going to add in the sour cream. Yeah, it's thick like them girls from the west side. You know how the west side girls be? They thick everywhere, Doc. They be in fourth grade thick. I be like, what in the world are you eating at home? Yams, potatoes, tomatoes. Okay, I'm putting in like, you know what? Almost all this sour cream, Doc. You can't really taste the sour cream, but it's gonna keep it moist. Put this all in there. Don't say, put all that in there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't be ashamed of the gospel of sour cream, okay? Because I tell you what, if you deny sour cream on earth, it's gonna deny you in heaven, okay? So that's the sour cream that we added in here, okay? With the garlic and the onion, the salt, the pepper, and the smoked paprika. I want you just to see this. I ain't even added no cheese in here yet. You see what I'm saying? I have not added no cheese in here yet. This is just um, the sauce, okay? Now, let's, let's toss in a good handful of the cheese, and this don't have to melt all the way down, people, okay? Let's, Let's throw in, the devil is really busy on this Facebook. On this, on this other Facebook, listen, the devil is really busy. It's saying trying to reconnect. Hold on. How is it trying to reconnect? I'm not even on Wi-Fi. Due to poor wireless connection, your broadcast has been, okay, let me get on Wi-Fi. This is the devil. Y'all see this? Mark Zuckerberg. How is I'm live on the other Facebook on the same connection, but this one is giving me problems? You had to switch to Instagram? I'm sorry. There you go. So Listen, y'all, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on around here. I'm sorry. I love y'all. I'm trying to get it together. I don't know what's going on. Sorry, Facebook fan people. Okay, so we put in the Velveeta. And I put in, um, like, some cheese, okay? And this don't really have to melt down because it's got to go in the oven, okay? So this needs a little more cheese, though, to be amazing. It smells so good. I wish you could smell this. This is what you put on behind your ears. If you want to really impress somebody, you put some of this on behind your ears, okay? That part. Okay, let me get this pasta ready for y'all. You put this behind your ears, you'll be all right. Okay, we put a, we're gonna take, look at this. But this is the pasta that's not all the way cooked through. Okay, this is al dente. That'd be y'all mistake. You cook the pasta, it'd be dead. Don't kill it. Let it live. Jesus, get in here. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going, oh, you done escaped. Okay, we'll get you there. Okay, we're gonna stir this together. Now, you know what they say about macaroni and cheese. I'm saved and untouched, so I don't know anything about what they say. I believe in the, the uh, gospel of Jesus Christ, that part. So I don't really know what they say. But I've seen a meme online, they was talking about it. You heathens that I follow, you posted and tried to infiltrate my mind. But I serve a God that keeps me beyond all the foolish things y'all post, okay? All right, let's see. I'm trying to tell you. 
This is why we taste it. You know what it can use? No lie. A little more salt. No lie. It can need a little more salt. This is why you taste it. It could use a little more salt, Doc. See? We didn't put enough in there. That's why you taste it to make sure it's good. Okay? It's a different spoon. FYI. Why is Facebook trying to reconnect again? What is going on with this connection? What is happening? That's perfect. Facebook is trying to... I'm sorry, Facebook. The Facebook fan page, not the Facebook personal page. Okay, come on, y'all. It just shut down completely again. Like, it just literally shut down again. It literally just shut down. The devil is busy, but we making this mac and cheese. It literally just shut down again. I don't, I don't know. That's horrible. I don't understand. Sorry, y'all. You was watching on Facebook? I know, I'm sorry. Okay, come on, let's pour this. It's hot. I'm going to burn myself. Hold on, it's hot. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to pour this all ooh, right in here like this here. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to smooth it out a little bit. Hey, 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 hey. We're going to smooth it out a little bit. Oh, my God. Okay. Mm. Then, let me show you what you do. So you don't make no mess in your oven. Put this on a sheet tray like this here. You see? Then take the other cheese that we got, that collection of cheese. Don't worry, if you miss the ingredients, I will make sure you get the recipe, okay? I'm sorry about the connection. I can't control that. <laughs> Let's just hope Andrew Gillum and Stacey Abrams make it, okay? That part. Listen, maybe all the, the, the internet resources are tired of counting votes. I don't know, okay? But listen, what we'll do is I will give you the recipes one of two ways. You can join the mailing list by going to DariusCooks.tv and then sign up online at the mailing list and I'll email it to you. Or what you can do is um, join the Darius Cooks Facebook group and I'll get it to you there, okay? One of two ways, all right? Now look, my oven's preheated. 400, I'm gonna turn it down to 350 though, okay? Let's go, you see that, huh? Can you see? Y'all see that app? Oh, Stacy, not so much. Ugh. You know why? Georgia. Okay. Out in them damn, um, out in them damn, um, what you call it? Oh, Stacy. We need you, Stacy. They said, Stacy, you owe too much money, girl. <laughs> they say, you owe too much money. You in danger now, Stacy. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to make this catfish for y'all because I'm eating catfish with my macaroni and cheese, okay, that part. So I want to make this catfish and I want to show you how to do it. Um, I was going to make the pie crust for the apple pie, but I kind of don't feel like it, that part. So we'll do that later on. See, that's the good thing about this. So you got one good recipe. You got the good macaroni and cheese recipe. And lo and behold, that's all you need, if you think about it. If you think about your life right now, all you really need in life is a good macaroni and cheese recipe. You see what I'm saying? And we done already gave you that. Huh? Yes. But what we can do Get the grease hot for um, macaroni and cheese. 
I mean for the um kettle. Okay, so I got me a piece of cast iron skillet. You know how we do. And uh, look, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, waste not, one not, one not, waste not. We're gonna use a little vegetable from Kroger and some canola from Publix. Okay. Just because it was on, it was, this was on sale. This was two fifty, and I needed some more. Okay. These days, we're all about inclusion and diversity. Okay. So I want you to be inclusive, and I want you to be diverse, not just in your day to day living, but also in the way you cook and in the oils that you use. Okay. That part. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Oh, oh, oh deep Okay. Take it to church. We shall, we shall, we shall, we shall, we shall overcome someday. Okay. Let me rinse off this catfish real fast. Believe it or not, I'm going to rinse it. I know, I know what y'all thinking. I know what you're thinking. Oh, my God. He's rinsing catfish. He is. Okay. A little rinse, rinse. Now, let's make a little bit of a... um. A situation for the catfish, okay? Let's do a little salt and pepper while the oil gets hot. This is now called catfish seasoning. <laughs> I'm, I'm making this up as I go along, actually. Okay, we're going to do a little um, garlic, a little onion, and let me go to my cabinet and grab some more culprits. And I'm going to show y'all something because y'all be, this one lady emailed me a whole email today or yesterday. She emailed me and uh, sis said to me in the email, I'm going to tell you what she said. I got to find the email. Wait, let me find my ground fennel first. That's what's most important. Is this it? Rosemary, coriander, coriander. What is this? Oregano, fennel. Here you go. Red pepper flake and lemon granules. Hold on. Sis sent me a whole email. And sis said, could you stop using, on the email, she said, could you stop using, um, what she told me, could I stop using, um, uh, Chicken bouillon because it contains too much MSG and too much sodium. I said, sis, they got the no, they got the no sodium kind and the kind with no MSG. You mean to tell me you wasted up the bandwidth of this email for that? When people is out here. Um, when tragedies are coming place, all kinds of diseases, people are slipping away, muggers and robbers, no place seems to be safe. Okay, you mean to tell me when time is filled with swift transition, no on earth a move can stand. You gonna send me this email? FYI, I put some soft zone in here, okay. Guess what this say? No MSG, okay, on the Sazon. So they actually have Sazon out here with no MSG. So you can get the kind that has no MSG. I mean, do they have it? Lord Jesus. Okay, so that was ground fennel, red pepper flakes. Oh, and then this was lemon granules, FYI, okay? I don't know if you guys ever seen this. Okay, but this is, these are lemon granules. Oh, Facebook is just acting a fool, period. Is that what's going on? Facebook, I'm sorry. 
So Facebook just must be acting a fool, period. Okay, these are lemon granules. So this is like um, lemon peel, lemon seed, uh, not lemon seed, lemon peel. <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna use this. Okay, so Facebook is just going through. Okay, tell me something. All right, all right, so let's, let's season this up. Both sides with this now catfish seasoning. Why do we season both sides? Because you gotta eat both sides. That far. Okay. Now we could fry this in cornmeal because that's what my grandmother would do. Grandma never called it cornmeal. She just called it meal. And you're supposed to know that meal means cornmeal. Don't ask me how I'm supposed to know that, but that's what you're supposed to know. That meal is cornmeal. See this beautiful. See this beautiful color we got on this fish? Can you see that? See what beautiful color we have now? All right. Facebook, if Facebook is still cutting up, you know you can go to um, YouTube, Periscope, or Instagram Live. Okay, you can go to one of the two of those. Three of those, I mean. Ooh, come on, um, macaroni and cheese. All right. Grandma will use meal. I'm not going to use meal, okay? I'm going to use corn flour. This is Nebraska yellow corn flour, okay? It's like a very, 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 very fine cornmeal is really what this is, okay? It's like a very fine cornmeal. Um, it's almost like flour, but it's made from corn. And it is fantastic on your fried fish, crab cakes, hush puppies, um, fried um, oyster, fried shrimp. If you like, um, you know, black folks like a little piece of um, fried shrimp, it's good. Your fried scallops, this is delicious on, okay? So I'm just using corn flour because I just didn't want to use cornmeal. That's it. There's no reason why. Um, I just like the texture of corn flour. I like what it does when you fry it up with good fish. It just tastes good. You see what I'm saying? So there's no reason... Um, there's no particular reason. If you don't have corn flour and you want to use cornmeal, by all means, use cornmeal. I'm going to tell you what we used to do back in my day. So back in my day, grandma used to fry, grandma used to fry chicken back in my day. She used to fry chicken and she used to have that big paper bag that she would fry her chicken in. She would shake up the flour in the chicken, right? And then she put that paper bag back in the refrigerator that paper bag is from 1972 when she went grocery shopping one December, okay? She kept it. I'm putting this in the grease. Woo! Come on, fish. And then, grandma will use, grandma will use that grease to fry her chicken in. But when she was done frying chicken, what she used to do? Use that grease to fry fish. Now, once you use the chicken grease to fry fish, it's over. You see what I'm saying? You can't go back to chicken. Your fish grease is just got to stay your fish grease. You see what I'm saying? You can't use the fish grease to fry chicken. Once you fry the chicken, and you can use, now you can use, you can fry chicken, you can fry pork chop. You can fry hush puppy. You can fry whatever you want to fry. You can put some of that oil in the greens. You can put some of that oil in the um in the cabbage. You could. But the Bible. But the Bible is true. Okay. Once you fool around. Okay, and once you fry fish in the chicken grease, it's over. Okay, it's over. Ain't nothing else you can do. You might as well give up. Okay, you might as well give up. Okay, if you are on the email list, you got a um. If you're on the email list, you got an email 
uh, for that flaky butter crust. Now again, you guys, don't worry. I will definitely give you guys the recipes. All you have to do is sign up to my mailing list at DariusCooks.tv or join the Darius Cooks Facebook group and then you guys will get these recipes, okay? I'm gonna show you really quickly because I have to do a couple pies for you for tomorrow. So I might as well do this real fast while we fry the chicken and make the macaroni and cheese. Oh Lord Jesus. Oh, that macaroni and cheese smells good. Woo! Okay. I might as well do this real fast for you, so you guys can see. So the other day we did this by hand. I'm gonna do this in the mixer, because I want you to see just how easy this is, people. Okay, I want you to see how easy this is. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's make these two crusts real fast, okay? So we're gonna add flour to the bottom of this right quick, okay? Now let me step your crust game up, because some of y'all like to uh, buy the crust. And I guess it's okay to buy it. But it's so easy to make it that once you make it, you go, oh, this was amazing. From now on, I'm making it. Okay, I'm just flipping over this fish You know, fish don't take long to cook at all. And my grease is not up super high, too, FYI. So I don't have this, like, sky high. That's another thing, y'all. When y'all cook your stuff, the grease be so high. Why the grease be so high? I don't know. Okay. Let's put that in there. Let's add some salt. Okay. Let's do a little pinch of sugar. Come on, so a little pinch of sugar. Then, let's get some Crisco. And this is butter flavor, okay? <laughs> Ain't God all right? Huh? Ain't God all right? Butter flavor Crisco. Because this will get it nice and flaky. And it tastes like something. Also, watch this, people. Let me help you stuff your game up a little bit. Okay? Let me help you stuff your game up a little bit. Okay? Just a little bit. course, we're going to add in some butter. Let's get a knife so we can cut it. Let's also get this fish. I don't want to burn my fish live. I don't have no more fish. So if I burn this, I'm shame. Everything got to be perfect because I don't have no more. I don't have no more fish. I don't have no more half and half. You do what grandma, grandma put a little paper towel down like this here. Hold on, I need two tongs. Okay, let me get the fish out. piece of fried catfish. Huh? There's a little piece of the fried mm. a little piece of the fried catfish right here. Uh-huh. 
Okay, don't take long. See, listen. It do not take God long to move. Okay? When the Lord is ready to move, I'm trying to tell you, it happens quick. Okay? All right, I'm going to cut up this butter. And I'm going to add a stick and a half. of butter, cold butter right in here, okay? And don't worry, I'm actually using this tomorrow, so, um, but I do want it to rest and set up, okay? What kind of oil? I use half and half, since half what was on sale and half what I had left in my house. That's the kind of oil I use. I use half and half, half what was on sale and half what I had left in my house. That's the kind of oil you use, okay? <laughs> That's the kind of oil you use. Okay, that was butter, Crisco, and the Holy Ghost say put a little cream cheese in here. Okay? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. The Holy Ghost say put you a little piece of cream cheese up in here. I leave the butter out, but this butter was in the fridge. I don't leave all butter out. I do leave some butter in the fridge, right? I leave some butter in the fridge. Hold on, something is going to die. Some battery is low, hold on. I do leave some butter in the fridge, but this butter is cold, see? Because I like to use cold butter if I'm making biscuits. I like to use cold butter if I'm making... Um, pie crust like this here okay okay let me just do this real fast and then we'll get that macaroni and cheese out the oven let me just make sure it's it's cooking up oh god oh god oh okay you guys are gonna flip out when you see this macaroni and cheese come out stay tuned and instagram if we get disconnected because you know they only give us an hour and we already been on like almost an hour i'm gonna call y'all right back instagram okay I'm gonna call you right back, I promise. And we'll get another hour. But I ain't gonna be on here that long though. So don't go nowhere, if you get cut off, you're gonna be shamed, okay? Okay, put the put the um, paddle on. This is a, um, a, a attachment, okay? Now this is flour, cream cheese, uh, butter, and butter flavor shortening, which is a little bit of sugar and salt, okay? And if you just, so you gotta do this, you gotta do this slow, or you're gonna be wearing this. Okay, you have a new accessory. Do this slow. And basically what you wanna do is just let the um, butter and the uh, cream cheese and the shortening incorporate with that flour, okay? Meanwhile, let's get some ice water together. Be careful, watch it, because it'll, it'll flip out on you. It'll flip out on you like a bad child. Now, we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of water at a time. Okay. Now, let me show you what, what we got inside of here. Because I want you guys to see this. Okay. Okay. Instagram. They gave me a minute and 24 seconds. So Instagram, I'm gonna stop you and then start you again, okay? In live video, share, and I'm gonna go live one more time. Okay, there we go. All right, so I want you to see this before I add the water. It looks like wet sand on the inside, see? It looks like wet sand on the inside. And what happens if you take it with your hand and you do one of these numbers and you hold it together, you press it, it should hold together just like this. That's how you know you're in good territory, okay? Now, let's go ahead and add in um, the water. And then we'll bring this on home and then I can eat my dinner, okay? All right, we're gonna do a couple of tablespoons of water at a time. You can always add water to it you cannot take water out, okay? You hit a mixer, 
the mix is starting to work. Okay, that means we getting there. Okay. All right, I think we're there. Yeah, we're there. Okay, let me show you this. We're definitely there. Okay, look. Let me get rid of this. All right, let me grab a little flour to work with and let me show you what we had. And this was very simple to do. You saw this was like, like literally moments. This is a cream cheese and butter crust that we're gonna use to make our pies. We'll do the apple pies tomorrow, but this is great for peach cobbler, okay? This is great for all that, okay? So a little bench flour goes down, and then we just turn out this dough onto here. And then we'll knead it a little bit and bring it together. This is a beautiful dough, oh gosh, look at this. It doesn't even need much kneading. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous this is. Look at this. Let me cut it open. Look at that. You see those like layers? You see that like little butter floating around in there? You see that? Can you guys see? That's how you know you're ready to go, okay? Very simple to do. Very easy. And so what we'll do is we'll use this dough tomorrow. So I'll just basically form it into discs. And then we'll wrap it in um, saran wrap. And then we'll put it off in the fridge. Let it kind of hang out and firm up. And then we'll use it tomorrow. Oh, oh macaroni and cheese is done. All right, we'll use it tomorrow, and then we'll make pies. And let's do pies, and let's do cake tomorrow. How about we do that? Because I kind of want to eat and take a shower and check my email and fix credit. So listen, if you guys, again, if you need the recipe, don't worry. We're posting the recipes to the Darius Cooks Facebook group, number one. And then number two, we're also um, emailing the recipe, so you can get on the email list the email list is very simple to join. You just go to DariusCooks.tv and you can join the email list. Also, the holiday ebook is on sale. I see a couple of sales are coming through right now as we speak. You can pick the book up, the holiday ebook. You can pick it up right now by going to DariusCooks.tv slash store and you can grab that holiday ebook and you can also save 30% by using the code Thanksgiving 2018 at checkout, okay? So if you do that, and the book is great because it has shopping lists and the whole bit, just to get you guys ready for holiday. It's called 101 Recipes for your holiday table, okay? Good resource to have. Uh, the tequila lime cranberry sauce is in there. Um, the butter pecan green beans are in there. The um, garlic herb. Um, the standing rib roast is in there. I mean, there's so many recipes. The the um, smothered, the, um, the uh, grocery store smothered chicken is in there. Like, there's just everything is in there. So it's a great resource to have. Okay, mac and cheese which is what you all came here for, is done though. And I want to show you this, because I want you to see what happens. Okay, I want you to see this mac and cheese, baby. Okay, I want you to take a look at this mac and cheese. Can you see? Can you see? It's getting hot, it's getting hot, it's hot. Okay, I want you to see this and I want you to see how it looks. Whew. Jesus. Be a fence.
Can you hear crackling? Okay. Make this for your loved ones, Doc. You make this. And people go, Kiki, do you love me? Look at this. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Look, oh. Hello. Oh. Do you see this? Huh? Huh? Do you see? Hello. Hello. Hello, people. Somebody's got to do this. I hate that I have to do this for you. I, this is the part I hate. Listen. Listen. Okay. Hmm. Would you listen? I really ain't got much to say. But God is good all the time. You know what I'm looking for? You know what I'm looking for? Oh, here you go. You know what I'm looking for? Hmm. <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm gonna tell you this one more time. I will give you the recipes, I promise. We will grab the recipe. Very simple. Go to GaryHisCooks.tv and sign up for the mailing list. You'll get it that way. Or join the Darius Cooks Facebook group. And you'll get it there. All right? Look at that. Look at that fish. There's two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time. I got to wish you happy cooking. From my heart to yours. Bye. Huh? Mm-hmm.